know it's been a while but i want to come on here today quickly and give you a review or slash haul from the nordstrom anniversary sale this year so if you're interested in seeing what i got this year from the nordstrom anniversary sale stay tuned So we all know with coronavirus, COVID-19, things are completely different from like every aspect of our life. And the anniversary sale was no different. This year they did roll out a new method. Um, I'm not gonna talk too much about that because I don't recall the particulars of it. All I know is that you fell into a category if you had the Nordstrom cards. I believe the um, Nordstrom card holder, holders, so the credit card holders, were able to shop first. And then it was just based off of dollar value and what you spent in the year when you'll be able to shop. So um, I saw the catalog, it came out, I believe it was on a Thursday. And I kind of glanced through it. I never typically buy like clothing items in shoes from them like sometimes i consider it but i've never bought it from them um i definitely have bought jewelry during this time and tons of beauty products like literally all of my beauty products come from this time every year during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and this time was no different besides covid I, of course we wasn't able to go into the store to figure out oh what are you going to get this and how about this i mean i guess there were some places where you were able to go into the store and figure out what you want but it just wouldn't be the same so i opted out of going into the store and strictly looked at the catalog online and because of that i kind of just got what i normally would purchase but just wouldn't buy it at regular price if that makes sense and that goes into some of my faves which is the mario Bescu, what is it? Mario Bescu, Lord. This is in the Nordstrom yeah. anniversary sale. It's the Mario Bescu like skincare line, and as you can see, one of the items that I already have is the um, facial spray, and it's a empty. It's empty, and then the other item that I have is the drying lotion by him and it's almost empty i don't know if you can see that it's almost empty now if you look at the tags on here i mean typically pick these goodies up at nordstrom rack because it's like the cheapest i've ever found it so just for the facial spray it's five dollars the tag still is on here and for the drying lotion it's 17 dollars. now i love this i always use this as a setting spray after i do my makeup and for the drying lotion, if you have a little pimple, you just place it on there, dries it out, and then it should pretty much be gone. And so I needed to replenish this because my boyfriend has got a hold of it. He's got a hold of the trade secrets. And he's just been like using it. And it's like, dude, do you know how expensive this is? <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, you're going to have to buy me some more. And he was like, okay. How much is it? I was like, $5 million. That's how I feel because I think what normal price is what, $23 or $25? I'll insert it here. But like I said, I picked it up at Nordstrom Rack for $17. And because I was starting to run out, I decided to get another bottle. So with that being said, I black browsed the catalog and I decided to purchase the Mario Badesco um, Essential Set. Now, this set basically includes my favorites. So it includes the um, facial spray with aloe and herbs and rose water, the drying lotion, as well as the lip balm. So I actually picked up two of these because like I said, I love it. I've already used two out of the three products that the kit includes. Just two of the products, the setting spray, as well as the drying lotion itself was worth more than what you would pay for the kit. So the kit was $23 for the anniversary sale. And like I said, those two items like separately, regular price is more than the kit. 
So, and I also haven't tried the lip balm yet. I heard a lot about it and I was like, hmm, this is perfect. Gives me an opportunity to try the lip balm. And then like, not to mention the size difference of, this one's a four ounce spray, four ounces. And this one was only a two ounce spray. Um, the same spray, facial is the same um, spray. Hopefully it focuses, but it's bigger. But like I said, like, I love this stuff. Like I spray it to set my makeup or just like refresh. I don't know sometimes if you know, you wear makeup and it starts to look a little dry. I um, typically put that on to refresh. And then it, like I said, it comes with the drying lotion, which is the same as this one. Both of them are one ounce sizes, but it comes into like a little bubble wrap cushion because it is a glass jar. Now I do believe that if you order it online, you do have an option to choose in between a glass jar and plastic, but I chose the glass just because I like the glass option of it personally. And then last but not least is the lip balm. So hopefully it focuses so you all can see though. Okay. <laughs> so the lip balm, um, now my review, let's get into the review portion of it. Like I said, I bought two bags of it. Oh, it also came with a sample bag, which is like a little good bag. I haven't opened it yet. Let's see what all comes inside this bag. Um, so it's just like a clear, plastic bag that says like Mario Badesco on it. And it comes with a sample of the vitamin C serum, which I actually have um, already. Like I have this already, so that's nice. What size is it? Not sure. And it gives you kind of a to go. <laughs> This is funny, I have like doubles of. So this one here is the one ounce spray of the same facial spray. This one here is the two ounce spray. Here's a good size reference. And then this one here is the four ounce spray. So let's get into the sizes of this. This is kind of, this is actually pretty. I've never seen them all like this before. Uh, let's see if this focuses. There we go. You see that? Look how cute this is. It's kind of like, um, what is a nursery rhyme? Like three little bears, too, too big, too small, just right. No, but I think this is like perfect for like going in your purse. Just throw it in there. I mean, I typically use this as a normal size to keep on my vanity. This would just be like the bigger version of that. But I would say if I wanted a one, if I wanted one that was mobile and then I could just like keep in my purse, I would probably use this one. So I definitely would keep the bottle and just probably like replenish it whenever it runs out. So back to the little sample kit that it came with. So it came with the little facial spray as well as the super collagen mask. It came with this sample. I don't know if it's focusing, but it came with that. And last but not least, it comes with the Glyconic Foaming Cleanser. This is one ounce. I've heard of it, but I've never gotten the opportunity to try it. So this would be kind of nice to try. So I'm excited about this. And I just think the pouch itself is like a nice makeup bag to just throw in your purse. It's clear so you can see what's going on in there. And then last but not least, gave me a little sample, makeup samples. These samples include da -da -da -da, white caviar. So I'm believing it's a facial cream white caviar facial cream. I don't know if you can see that. 
as well as, let's see, I didn't open this, I just got this package. If I didn't just get it, I'm just not opening it because I didn't really feel the need to, oh, let me open it because like I said, I already have these products. So I use these products constantly. Okay, so um, the same skin caviar is Lux Eye Cream. So same brand, just one's a facial cream, one's an eye cream. This one is Liquid Glass Shampoo. I don't really, um, guys, let me know in the comments. Do you guys use the samples that come in, um, and like, you know how like Sephora would say, choose your sample. Like sometimes like if it's the perfume, oh, I definitely use it because I want to try and see if it's an scent that I like. But like the makeup ones, I mean, unless it's one that I've had my eye out for, I don't really typically use. Um, as well as the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair sample. And then last but not least, is the Bobbi Brown Perfect Skin Coverage. And it gives you six samples total. I'm assuming it's three of their darkest shades and three of their lightest shades. Let's see, Warm Walnut. Oh, well, no, I guess, because actually on the back of the card, it tells you all the shades that it comes in. And um, the darkest looks like Cool Espresso and the lightest looks like warm honey. So I guess this is like somewhere in between. So these are the samples that came with my box um, from the North anniversary sale. And then like I said, I just picked up two of the same things because they're tried, true, tested for me and my skin type. And I love it. I would have picked up more, but like I said, like after looking through the anniversary sale, I realized it was one thing that I had my eye on. It was actually a click and grow system, which is like an at-home garden system where you can like grow fruits, veggies, plants. I didn't really want it for the plant aspect. I really wanted it for fruits and veggies because to me, it's like, oh my God, if we are going into like round two of coronavirus like lockdown i guess i would want to have like fresh fruits and veggies inside of my apartment versus having to go to the grocery store because it was so difficult to go to the grocery store during this time so pretty much guys this is all i got from the anniversary sale north June 2020 um i wish i could have gotten more but i personally didn't see anything that i like and normally the add-ons that I get, it's like because I'm in the store and feel compelled to buy more. It's like, oh, look at this, this is cute. Oh, look at this makeup eraser. Like it just wasn't the same, so I just stuck with what I knew. And the other thing that I actually did want, it showed sold out when it was time for my level to shop. So I just thought it was a sign like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't get it. And then, like, actually, the very last day before the sale was over, it popped back up there. And I read the reviews, and the reviews were, like, pretty good. I mean, they were saying, like, oh, it works just as subscribe, It grows. It's awesome. But the difference between the regular price and it being on sale for anniversary was no more than $20. And that just made me not feel compelled to buy it either because it sold at Best Buy, Target, pretty much anywhere you can buy it. And with the coupon or sale there, I can just get the click and grow from there. So I didn't feel compelled to buy it for the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Although I typically use my double points for that day. But like I said, it just wasn't the same this year. And I know I can't be the only one that feels this way. So let me know in the comments below if you purchase anything from this year's anniversary sale. What were you thinking about purchasing? What did you not purchase? And if you have the same experiences I had this year for the don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.